Welcome back to Buns Hot Rod Drives. Happy 2024 to you. Um, I just want to go over some things, what's going to happen this year and try to make happen and, you know, just kick around some ideas and, you know, just give you an update on the channel. I haven't been uh, doing much lately. I have some stock footage I'm probably going to craft into a uh, couple of videos and post them up, but um, I'm going to try for 2024 to at least put something up every day for you guys. Um, this will be going on my eighth year of doing this, and I just reached 220 subscribers. Um, you need to get a thousand subscribers and 4,000 watch hours per year to be able to uh, become monetized. I would like that, but you know, that's not the only reason I'm doing this. I'm also doing this to document my journey and uh, leave something behind later in the later in the years, hopefully a long time for now. But um, let's talk about where we're at right now. Um, trash the olds. We got 496 in. Uh, it's been in since about Thanksgiving. I started up once and left it aside. Uh, just yesterday, New Year's Day, I uh, pulled in the garage and um, buttoned up some things and fired it up, set the timing, got it running decent so I could uh, move it around if need be. And, uh, you know, she sounds pretty sweet. There's a short I made yesterday if you guys uh, want to take a look at it. Maybe I'll try to put it here or something. I don't know how to do that, but we'll, we'll see. Um, so this thing's ready to drive. Unfortunately, here in Michigan, it's going to be a month or two before we get some decent weather to drive it. So I'm kind of bummed out about that, but uh, it is what it is. There's a couple things that need to be uh, straightened out with it. Um, I've got a vacuum pump to install. The fogger's not hooked up. Um, the car has absolutely zero safety equipment, so uh, taking this to the track might be um, on the low list. So, with that being said, um, we're probably going to uh, work on some of the other projects. What I have is the ugly street truck, which motor setting in there and I have all the parts for it so um, after I do some work on one of my daily drivers we're probably going to get back on that and uh, get that back uh, get that all wrapped up and get it running and then put that aside and uh, it's going to be S10 there's going to be us 10 months. Um, I got uh, Bradley Schroeder's S10 over here. Uh, the cage is ready for paint. Uh, I'm going to bring you guys along for that. And uh, then we're going to do the outside of it. The engine compartment needs a little bit of work. Uh, if you look back in my old videos, you'll find some uh, how to. Uh, fabricate a firewall block off um so that's it with that and my s10 it's ready to drive um i did a card video on that a few months back and um what i need to do is finish the paint job on that and there's uh issue with the rear end when i put it together um I never assembled a rear end before, but um, I did not tighten the crush sleeve pinion yoke properly, and it's loose, so I have to uh, figure out how to do that and put it um, back into service. Uh, that should be around springtime, too. That's going to be a nice street strip car. Um, I'm thinking about driving that, doing some drag and drive stuff with it, uh, 
maybe put a small nitrous kit on it. Um, you know, I pro I'll probably use it for a daily driver um, if that's at all possible. Uh, it's got a 355 in it. It's mild. It's got a 750 Holly on it, brawler carb. Um, we should be good with that. So we got trashy, ugly street truck, the S10, this S10, and uh, that's about it for my projects. Um, what I'd like to do is still keep trashy together. I have a frame. I'm gonna get a badass run from it, for it from uh, Trick Chassis, TRZ, or Tin Soldier race cars. I'd like to. Um, I like to partner with one of those companies and uh, trade some how-to with their products that might build up and maybe get a discount or something. I don't know if it, that's a fantasy or something that could be uh, made to come to for fruition, but uh, we'll give it a try. Um, so I have that other frame. I'm gonna start from that. I'm gonna get that fully complete and then take the body off the frame, do the underneath of the car and set the body back on the frame, get that all torqued down, and then it's gonna be roll cage. You know, I'm gonna do a chrome molly full cage. I don't know if I'm gonna go beyond an 850 cert, but uh, we'll uh, cross that bridge when we get to it. I, I wanna overbuild the car so I don't have to do it again, but um, you know, I wanna enjoy it too, and I don't wanna have to rob a bank to get it done. So, um, that's it for that. And the last thing I guess I want to talk about is, um, my video making. So, um, I recently brought an iPhone because the camera on these is far superior than other phones, but I don't know how to do anything on it. This is my old phone I'm using for this video, and uh, I can throw something together, but uh, there's gonna be a learning curve on this, and you know, I don't know. Um, thumbnails are an issue. Getting the stuff in the editing program and be able to upload it to YouTube, all, all that stuff is difficult for me. I had uh, someone helping me with that, and. That situation is probably not happening anymore, so um, I have to teach myself a bunch of new stuff to make my videos better, and hopefully that will lead to more better content and uh, finally getting uh, 1,000 subscriber, subscribers and 4,000 watch hours and the monetization and all that good stuff. But, like I said, I don't... Uh, it's been this long and I'm still doing it, so I'm not giving up, and I guess it doesn't matter. But uh, they say for every hour of video footage, you have an hour's worth of work to make that. So uh, I really don't have that time. So I need to find something that's good, simple, and effective. So if you have any suggestions for that, uh, please leave a comment down there. And uh, I'd appreciate that. Uh, I always reply to all my comments unless I don't see them. I always check to see if there's a comment I missed. And if I missed your comment, I apologize. I will get, I will get back to it. Um, we're up to 220 subscribers as of January 2nd, 2024. And I wanna thank you guys for watching, commenting, sharing, subscribing, you know, I, I really like to interact with you guys more than uh, just making videos for you. So don't hesitate to say something, even negative comments, I'm, uh, it's all good. Well, that's going to do it for today, and I'll catch up with you guys soon. Peace.